welcome back to my channel. My name is Alma Sen and I'm a part-time reseller on various sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Kittison. And today I'm here with a midweek haul. I didn't have time to haul, for, haul it for you guys last Saturday. So I rushed home to try to get some daylight still so I can film this for you guys. So I'm in the best place I found in my room. Again, um, welcome to my new subscribers and thank you so much for my returning subscribers. I don't have a set schedule yet as of when I'm going to upload the videos. I just do it when I can. But to be transparent too, I have a, I'm surrounded by uh, piles of clothing. I haven't listed any of them. So I am going to have a ton of work ahead of me, okay? But let's start off with an amazing find. I know you guys are all familiar with this brand. It is Carhartt. It's a Carhartt uh, canvas jacket. It does have some stains on this. I think it has some stains on the sleeves. Maybe it doesn't, but it is worn. I just sold a jacket on Depop a couple of, I think a month ago, and I shared it with you guys for $125. And what made it so valuable was because it was made in the USA. And this is also made in the USA. I believe this is a wool lining. I don't know. I'm going to have to check. But I'm going to list that again for about $125 and see what I get. So my average cost of goods in my area, it, it's really amazing. Um, it's really low. I try to stay about $5. That Carhartt jacket was $12. So I paid $6. But again, average cost of goods is about 5 bucks in my area. So I'm very fortunate that I have reasonable pricing. I don't go to the bins. I know that there's a bins near me, but I just, I don't know. I hear some horror stories about the bins, so I haven't ventured out into the bins, and I know I need to. The next, I don't know if it was, uh, if you guys would have picked it up or not. Um, Patagonia, I try to be picky with Patagonia, but this was like a vintage dress. Would you guys have picked that up? Let me know in the comments below if you guys have picked it up. This is a small and it was half off again on fridays and saturdays it's half off at my stores so that's when i can do like the best thrifting um so this was seven half off was 350 so i picked that up don't know again if i should have or not we will find out um what was my next find here okay the next was let me see this one was actually in the clearance rack it was only a dollar the brand is mvp but it was a denim jacket with the NBC logo on there. Um, and nobody picked it up. So I did because it's vintage. And the comps are about $30 to $40. So yeah, I picked that up again for a buck. I couldn't believe it was still there. Maybe because of the logo. But me, the reseller that I am, it's just like I see dollar signs because when it's something vintage, I don't have a lot of experience in vintage items, you guys. But I'm trying to venture out a little bit. The next was also, you know what? It was also a dollar. I don't pick up a lot of Disney stuff anymore, but for a buck, this is a full zip hoodie. And I like the logo on the back. Um, it's an extra large. And again, this is gonna be a longer haul, so grab something to drink or eat. Um, so we'll see if I can get through all of it because I am getting kind of hungry or if I am going to split this one in half or not. What is this? I think this is, I think I just got this for work. This is just for, you know what? Actually, I think this is my daughter's actually. She picked it up, so I'll put that aside for her. The next were some Hoka's. I love this brand. They were 15 and half off. They were marked half off on that day. And these are the, um, what are the, let me see. The Hoka Arahi 6. I always pick up Hopas. I've even paid up to $20. The treads still look pretty amazing. Look at those. So yeah, I'm excited for those. I want to say about $60. Oh my goodness. And the next one. So this had a tag of $15. This is Vintage Coach. And I've seen other resellers that love selling vintage coach i heard that coach vintage coach can sell for a lot even more than like the recent styles this is like a green it was 15 dollars, and obviously with half off it was going to be 750 but i looked at the receipt the lady only charged me four dollars for this there's my puppy in the back look at that coach logo so these go oh, there's 10 cents in there okay let's see if there's any more money in there 
Let's see. Nope. No more money. But I think this could fetch me like 70 bucks, 70 to 80 for this tiny little coach bag. So my thrifting was pretty good. Um, let me know if you guys would have picked these up. They were in a bin for a dollar. And I figure I can lock them up. Oops, I just, something just collapsed over here. I think there was four of these guys. So do you guys, there's, there were four Cabbage Patch dolls for a dollar a piece. And they were actually really in great condition. There's that little Cabbage Patch. Watch, watch out, Flippy, you want to say hi? <laughs> My dog. So I know that there was four. I just can't find the other one. But let me know if you guys would have picked them up. I figure I can lock them up. I don't know from what year. I think that some were older than others. Let me see if I can look in here. No, I can't see. This one says 1978. Wow. And there was a few other ones in there, but I obviously I picked up the ones that were in better condition. Uh, let me see if this one has a tag on there. Let's see, no. Anyway, I'm not gonna sit there and try to look for them, but anyway, I'm gonna lock all four of them up. I'll do a little bit more research on these dolls, but for a buck, you guys, that's why I didn't wanna leave them behind. So yeah, leave a comment below to see if you guys have sold this before. This also, their purses, they have like obviously their boutique section and they have just like the where the regular purses are hanging at and they are two bucks. But this doesn't feel the best of quality, but this is actually a Wilson's. I know their coats sell great, but this is Wilson's leather for $2. Absolutely. So I picked that up right away. Um, let's switch off to another pair of shoes. What these were five bucks, half off, $2.50. Sketch or sell, but the treads looked amazing. Obviously, they were too beat up. I wouldn't have got them. But again, Skechers um, flips pretty well. You're not going to get a ton of money for Skechers. But it's going to, uh, they will sell pretty quickly. This was just for me. I figure I can wear it with some jeans. Uh, sh sh I forget. Is that sh Chaser? So this, well, how much was this? It was $4 as an extra small. I figure I can wear it with some jeans for 2 bucks. I'll keep that. Let me see. These jeans, I found them for me. They're seven for all mankind. They were six bucks, half off was three fifty. dollars And I, I picked them up because they were actually like a short. They were like boot cut. And it's hard for me to find any jeans that fit me because I'm super short and I tend to drag them all. So anyway, when I pick up, like I said, when I find stuff for that fits me, I'm going to grab it. This was also in the dollar section. It's an NFL like windbreaker for Seattle Seahawks. I don't pick up a lot of sports. It's NFL, a lot of sports sh shirts. Cause I don't, um, I don't know. I just don't know a ton about it, but anyway, for a buck, I picked that up as well. Let's see what else is in here. I literally forgot what I, what I bought, um, this was just only from a few days ago, but do you guys ever do that is forget what you bought and are, are surprised all over again? This was a Bass Pro Shop. This was also, I believe, a dollar. I think they, nobody's picking up winter stuff anymore. This was a buck as well. Again, I don't know much about Bass Pro. I don't even know if they exist anymore. I wanna say, did Cabela's buy them out? Let me know in the comments below, but I figured they don't make this stuff anymore, so why not for a dollar? Um, and I didn't look up comps on that, but I've heard... Oh, here's the other Cabbage Patch doll. Here she is. I hope the lighting is okay, you guys. It's seriously snowing in my area. This one is from 1976 to 1982. So I'm going to lot all those four up, maybe for 60 bucks. Let me know what you guys think or any recommendation on that, because again, I don't know a ton about them. Okay, I made a quick stop to Salvation Army and I got these for $2.99. There were slippers and they are Sorrells. Sorrells boots sell amazing for me. Here is the brand. Here's a little bear, I think it is. But yeah, I think 25 to 30 bucks. Hi, baby. 25 to 30 bucks for these. They will sell, no problem. 
Let's see what's in this bigger bag here. Um, okay, the next, the only reason I picked these up, they are um, sports bras, is because I found three of them the exact same size. These were $4 with half off, and this brand is, I, is it Livy Active? But they were a size 46 triple D. So I'm gonna lock these up together, and I wanna say maybe $20 a piece. Maybe all three of them for 50 or 60 bucks. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly what I'm gonna do with that. So yeah, that's a great find. Active wear is selling for sure. This is just a little shirt for me, just for work. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. This is my little schnauzer. Okay, let's pull out the rest. Okay. These other two were an amazing find. Uh, well, not, I'm not going to say amazing. I don't pick up a lot of Eddie Bauer. You guys can see they were $4. Let me see if I can scoot up. $4. Uh, I'm struggling over here. $4 with half off. The reason I picked these up is because they were the exact same size. Two Eddie Bauer pullovers. They are a size extra, extra large. So... I'm gonna lock these babies up together as well. And I think I'm gonna list them both for about, together for about 50 bucks. They're a great size. They were a great condition, so yeah. Oh, the next one is a Bolo. I found this once before in the beginning of my reselling journey when I didn't even know what it was. But write this down. It's American Giant. The salmon little hoodie. I think this is my size. Go over there. Go over there, baby. Um, I think this is my size, but isn't that adorable? It just feels like it's high quality, super high quality. And, but I think I'm going to list it. I want to say that the salmon color wasn't the most popular. And I want to say this is a size medium, but um, American Giant, I think these go for about 30 bucks. Not a ton, a ton, but okay, the next two shirts are just for me for work. Just little, like, no-name brands. These two, for a couple bucks each, so can't complain with that. So I'm going to put those aside. Let's keep going here. Thank you guys if you guys are still here, but I, yeah, I just definitely needed to get this haul out. So this brand I've never got before and or picked up, Nick and Zoe. The reason I picked up is because it was brand new. And if you guys look at the bottom, the MSRP is like $148. And it was $6 with half off. So for this blazer, it was 3 bucks. Again, I've never uh, tried that brand before. Let me know if you guys have found it in the past. Um, and if it sells. I think the comps were pretty decent for a um, for the little like blazer open or like a little open card again. Oh, the next was a... Kipling, okay, I don't pick up all Kipling. I picked it up in the past, but this was a different size. And I think, does Kipling, is that the one that comes with a little like monkey on there? I'm not sure, I don't remember. But again, four bucks, $2 off, and it was the big bag, and it was in great condition. So that's the only reason, had it been the smaller version of it, I wouldn't have picked it up. So let me know what you guys think about that. I think the next one was an amazing find too. I don't think these ever have been worn. There, uh, look at that, like Kenneth, the Kenneth Cole reaction, some Chukka boots. They were $6 with half off, brand new. I don't think, like I said, they've ever been worn, so I went ahead and picked those up. And the next was also something I don't pick up all the time, but I have picked up this brand before. It was Dingo. They don't sell for a ton. I think I've sold these boots for $35 before. But look, there was hardly anywhere. They were $4 with half off. And sometimes I am surprised that I still find the stuff there because I used to be able to thrift on Fridays at my stores, um, but now I can't. I can only go on Saturdays. So I am surprised when there's stuff left. I mean, there's enough to go around for everybody, but I feel like the best, my best thrifting used to be on Fridays. But I'm not, um, like I said, that's just something that I'm not able to do anymore. The next, not sure if it was a mistake or not. These are LL Bean boots. They were $5 with half off. They do have a lot of wear, but they are obviously vintage. But the treads, the bottom soles still look really good. 
Um, so yeah, I'll just maybe polish them up. But yeah, they look really good. They're the knife edge, but for $250, you know what? I'll list them for $35, $40. Bucks. Why not? Okay, I think I'm down to my last bag here. Okay, what are you? Oh, I think these work for me. Okay. Oh, I forgot I got these. These are born little boots. I don't pick up everything born. Six dollars half off leather. No problem selling those as well. I've sold that brand time and time again. The next are for me. I don't know what the other one is, but these were Lauren Ralph Lauren. They're an eight. They're a cigarette. They're six dollars with half off. And these are actually for me. I forgot I found those for me. So super excited on that. What is the other one? Um, let's see what's next here. The next is a cloth and stone little like romper or jumper. I might have to try this baby on. It was about two bucks or so cloth and stone. I found many of the shirts like the tuxedo shirts before from cloth and stone. It sells okay. It used to sell better, but it kind of slowed down for me. But actually this, we may be going on vacation in May. So I am definitely uh, starting to look for some stuff that I can possibly take with me. And that's a little romper that I may take with me. Oh, these are also for me. Just more Reese's, you guys. I would not resell these, but I forgot I got these little work pants. Awesome. I love, I love thrifting for myself for work. Okay, the next, I was hoping that they would fit me, but like I said, I am super short. I'm like 5'1", I think. Zara, extra small, like leggings, high rise. But they are so long on me, and they, there's no way they're going to fit me, and I don't know anybody that would hem them for me either but they are just brand new with tags super bummed about that and again had they not been new with tags i would not have picked up zara i'm super choosy with my zara so that's going to be for sale you guys know this brand i'm sure it's Spanx. you guys i have so many of these in my closet and they don't move and i know i'm not pricing them too high they just don't they sit for me but for two bucks i pick them up so i'm going to add to my closet those camel ones and like i said i know i have them already oh the next one was a cool find i am definitely gonna lot this is a beta this is beta brand it used to be a huge bolo i found them in black and white and actually a large actually large petite on both of them i'm gonna lot those up together uh maybe for 50 bucks so yeah i always like finding beta brand again I have a couple of pair for myself that I found like some short petites, but Beta Brand is definitely a great brand to look for. Um, and yeah, when it's like, it's when you can lock something up together, absolutely, I will pick it up and do it like that. This is just for work, a little sweater for me. I could wear that with some leggings and some boots. Maybe I will tomorrow with those black boots and some black leggings. Awesome. Oh, we are getting to the bottom of this. Okay, this brand I never heard of. They were three bucks. But you guys look up this brand. It's um, Telic. Is that Relic? I don't know what how you say that brand. Telic maybe. But these little thong sandal flip flops. I think they sell for about thirty bucks. Check out the brand. I've never heard of it. But again, for a buck fifty, definitely a pickup for me. Almost done. Um, uh, let me see the next ones. I don't know if I should have picked these up because they have to do some work to them. Um, they were six bucks, three dollars off. These are Echo, Echo sneakers, women's for three bucks. I figure 25, 30 once I clean up the soles. The soles are in excellent condition. Just gonna get that um, Mr. Clean, like the white erasers. Those obviously help a ton. So again, maybe I shouldn't have picked those up because I had to do some, put in some elbow grease. The next I also found two of, I found like a lot of, uh, no, I don't think there was two of these, but anyway. It was a great size. This is a colorful Victoria's Secret. Let me see, what are you? Victoria's Secret Sport 40 Triple D. So I picked this up for two bucks. I'm also picky with Victoria's Secret, but that's a great size. And then the next one was a, I don't pick up a lot of Fabletics, but here's a Fab, Fabletics logo. But I totally like this pattern. Um, where is it? This pattern on this bra. And that it was a crisscross, but the bad thing is I got home, I realized that the tag is cut off. So I'm going to have to guess as to what it is. Ooh, it's definitely getting dark out here. It is snowing pretty good, but I at least made it home enough to try to 
uh, film. Oh, and the next one was a pretty cool find. And the reason I got this is because so it's Kasik, but this was new with tags, MSRP of $64.50. Got it for two bucks. Look at how adorable this is. What size are you? I know it's not my size. It's $18.20. So Kasik, again, the bras I hear do pretty good, but because it's new with tags, I can probably list it for about $25 to $30. Almost done. We're at the end. Oh, and then the last one was a pretty good brand, too. And I picked these up. These are Wolverine's 11, uh, Men's 11. They were 7 bucks, but half off was $3.50, and they're almost brand new. So I got through everything pretty quick. And anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, make this video, video live here in a, like maybe a half an hour to an hour. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I was super excited. I couldn't wait to do it for you guys so I can start listing. Gosh, I have a ton of work ahead of me, but I love it. This is the best, um, again, side hustle there's, there could be. And someday, I hope that I can do this full time. But again, I have a ways to go before that can even happen. But I hope you guys are all, all doing amazing and your sales are great and your sourcing are, is great as well. And I will see you guys this weekend with a what sold. Okay, talk to you guys then. Bye.